Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing Thursday, May 6, 2021. Today's date technically is June 8th, 2021, okay? Uh, I'm getting caught up with readings for the channel, so again, today's official date is June 8th, 2021, but we're backtracking a bit, however... Time frames, when it comes to readings and energy and messages, it doesn't really matter what date it is recorded on, when it's uploaded, because on the other side, your trusted ancestors and spirit guides, they don't have time frames. We only deal with time frames here in the 3D. Okay, so just to kind of, yep, there's Toto. She's uh, clearing up and <laughs> confirming on that energy, okay? So, again, today is June 8th, 2021, but we're going all the way back to Thursday, May 6th. I want to get out 30 days worth of messages. I am an exceptionally busy person, and my mom is battling cancer right now. And um, so my, my schedule has been full. So as soon as I can, you know, my goal is to, you know, get all the readings caught up to our current time frame. Okay? So... Hopefully, you guys are paying attention to what I just said. <laughs> so, anyway, let's go ahead, Scorpio, and dive into the reading. We're going to go ahead and ring the bell 21 times. 21 times is a power number, 21. It draws in the spirits, and also, 21 can make and or break a habit, okay? And also, seal energy, okay? can help seal in energy and also um, manifest. You can manifest a lot of things in 21 days, okay? So here we go. <laughs> Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Here we go, Scorpio. Let's see what we're going to be shuffling the deck to today. We have the power of number 10. Okay. We could see the Wheel of Fortune card kick in. You could also be dealing with that power of number 10. You could be dealing straight up with a Libra throughout the month of October. You could be a Scorpio that was born at the latter part of October or possibly dealing with another Scorpio that was born in October, okay? Could very well be. Power of number eight. Some of you more specifically could be dealing with a Leo and or a Virgo throughout the month of August. We could also see the strength card kick in, which is actually one of my favorite cards. And the power of number 10 again. What I would like to see, we got the 10, there's a 10, 10 energy. And in between that 10, 10 energy, there's an eight. Okay, the way I'm adding up the numbers. So it's like the number eight is in representation of infinity. Things that keep moving, things that keep flowing. There's only two cards in the tarot deck that will show that energy of the number eight or the infinity symbol. It could be the Magician card and or the Strength card, okay? Because we have the number zero in there, the Fool card could kick in. Some of you guys could be dealing straight up with an Aries. Some of you are about ready to take a leap of faith or take certain calculated chances and or risk. Yes, with the power of number one. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn throughout the month of January or we may see the Magician card kick in, so you could be dealing also, too, with the Gemini. Now, with that 10 and the 10, okay, what I would prefer to see happen is I would love to see the 10 of Cups come up and also the 10 of Pentacles, okay? Because then that's going to show me that you guys are building up momentum and that you guys are on the verge of getting what it is that you want, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add those numbers all together. Brings us to the power of number 28. Some of you could have been born on October 28th, some of you Scorpios. Or maybe your person was born on the 28th of a particular month. You never know. Now, the number two, High Priestess card could kick in. 
this power of number two has been coming up a lot in the roll of the dice. So I feel like spirit is highly stressing right now because we've had, you know, um, technically we are in a retrograde, okay, because of where we're at time frame wise, we're in the month of June, okay, even though we're going back to the energy of the month of May for May 6th, right? We've had eclipses, we've had full moon energies, new moon energies that are kicking in, and we're also going to be experiencing a solar eclipse on June 10th, okay? So, what I feel spirit is stressing, if the high priestess card kicks in, whether or not she does or doesn't, I do feel that you guys need to start listening to binaural beats and or guided meditations to open up your crown chakra and or your third eye and or your penile gland in the brain, okay? It's a very powerful source of energy in the penile gland, okay? It's where a lot of our manifestation and our subconscious mind and everything, reprogramming reprogramming your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind is what is creating your reality whether you like it or not okay so power of number 28 we are going to <clears throat> some of you could have been born in 1980 or 1981 or 1982 for some of you okay here we go one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one, two, ooh, three. Wow, I've got some jumpers here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. All right. Trusted ancestors, what is the main focal point of energy for the day of May 6th, Thursday, 2021, please? What would it be? What is it? Ooh, interesting. Something is going to be coming in fast towards you, Scorpio, with over the next eight weeks, eight of wands. Rapid fire communication, this could also be too. Some of you could be at a great distance from the person that you love the most. This could be an emotional distance, or this could be text messages, uh, DM messages. It could be phone calls coming in, could be emails that you could be waiting for right now. Either way, the action and the movement of the Eight of Wands brings in fast, forward, fluid movement. There's no stop to the Eight of Wands. It just keeps going and going and going and going, okay? Some of you could be dealing straight up with a fire sign, more specifically an Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius for some of you, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is coming in? Ooh. Who? Okay. Wow. This Prince of Swords energy has been kicking in. Wow. Some, okay. Listen. Variable messages coming in off of the Prince of Swords. Okay. I feel some positive and some negative. Okay. With the Prince of Swords, somebody has been in observation of you, Scorpio, and it could be more specifically on a social media platform. Okay. Somebody could be watching you very intensely right now. It could be a male and or a female, does not matter, okay? More than likely, it might just be your specific person, okay? Provided that you do not have this person blocked, okay? It could also be too. If in the event that you have somebody blocked on social media, meaning your specific person, then they are trying to go behind the scenes. This is what I'm picking up. They're trying to go behind the scenes and ask around for people who, who know you more specifically, Scorpio, to seek out information, wondering what the hell you're up to, okay? Especially if you have not been uh, in solid communication with this specific person, okay? Now, on the other hand, I do feel that there is also travel involved here too. 
It could also be, you may be looking also to online for some of you possibly to make certain travel arrangements. This may not be necessarily on a romantic level. Maybe some of you guys have been thinking about going on a small vacation. Maybe because you also feel that you need to reward yourself, okay? Maybe you've been putting in a lot of, you know, hard energy, a lot of work, dedication, and devotion, maybe since January of 2021, okay? And maybe after all of the waiting process and the setbacks and everything of 2020, maybe you guys have just been busting your chops at your jobs and, you know, maybe you're daydreaming also too about, you know, if you were to go on vacation somewhere, it could be, you know, you might be thinking like, where would I want to go? You know, it could, you know, some of you could be thinking about going over to Europe. Some of you could be thinking about going over to Asia or Australia or just some form of an exciting getaway. Maybe it's somewhere, um, you know, in a local hub or maybe it's in a neighboring city where you're at. Maybe it's two states away, eight states away. You never know. I've got a mountainous area going on here in the background of this eight of wands. So some of you I'm picking up also too that possibly you, some of you may be in the state of Colorado or you could be thinking about going to Colorado. You never know. Or somewhere where there's mountainous areas. My dog is barking so it's like confirmation, okay? So either way, I'm picking up that some of you guys are doing research in regards to possibly travel and or, that's enough Toto, possibly uh, for travel or you have been um, waiting for communication from a specific person, okay? Or they're gearing up to make communication with you or they've been spying in on you, okay? <clears throat> and there was some spying energy that was going on, uh, I think two readings ago that I had posted, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Wow, more action. Whew. Oh my goodness. Princess of Swords. This is like the Knight of Swords. Somebody does not want to procrastinate and or delay about something in particular. And it could be flat out about communication. Okay. Or you're gearing up, Scorpio, to cut out something or someone very fast in your environment. Or maybe somebody that you've been involved with and you're not, you know, uh, getting the results that you seek. Okay? We got to see how this Princess of Swords is coming in. Because, see, the Prince of Swords is looking in that direction. And the Princess of Swords is looking at the Prince of Swords. Okay, maybe you've been trying to make crystal clear cut communication with somebody in particular, but maybe they've been really obstinate. Maybe you've been trying to get your point across uh, in regards to a specific situation within the relationship dynamic between you and another person. Okay, very quirky in my eyes as a reader and what I'm seeing here, something wants to go like boom, 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 boom. Somebody's researching, somebody could be gearing up to travel, somebody is feeling antsy, I'm also picking that up too. Somebody is feeling very antsy, like they, it's like, the, it's like a feeling like somebody's got to get rid of something, you know, it's like a, an antsiness or an anxiousness or whatever, like somebody cannot wait. There's also the word I'm seeing here is anticipation, okay, it could be anticipation for somebody to reach out and communicate with you. And if they maybe if they don't do it by a specific time frame, maybe you're just gonna cut off their energy, Scorpio. Could be. The swords represent communication and action and mental thought process. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a deeper look into this. My dog is kind of distracting me right now, and I feel like her energy. It's like when I get anxiousness or weird energy coming up in a reading, her energy level, it gets weird. It's kind of crazy. Okay, let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
11. So the Prince of Swords, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now I got to see what this Eight of Wands is all about. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. All right, <clears throat> trusted ancestors, please bring some clarity into the action or the movement that is going on here in the cards today. Who or what is this Prince of Swords in regards to Scorpio's energy? If it has something to do about if somebody is spying in on somebody on social media, if it has to do with action and or communication, what is going on here? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, somebody is viewing you possibly in on social media. Come here, Toto. Come on, go lay down, baby girl. Somebody is spying in on you, Scorpio. They're keeping a close eye on you. You're like their shining star in their eye. Or they are mesmerized by your energy or by your looks, okay? And there could also be, and this was kind of coming up a little bit in yesterday's reading, Yesterday's reading that somebody here could be um, jealous because the Queen of Wands activity came up in yesterday's reading. And maybe your status, Scorpio, this is another message from Spirit. It feels like your status could be on the grow here, whether you know it or not. And somebody is taking notice of this energy. And it could also be too. The star card can also bring in healing and or reconciliation. So somebody here, if you haven't spoke to somebody in a while, somebody here could be wanting to communicate with you that maybe they want a new chance, a new beginning, or wanting to reach out, get together with you, okay? And maybe start something in particular or reconcile. Or it could be maybe you're dealing with somebody, Scorpio, that could specifically be in the public eye somebody who might be very popular who knows it might even be a celebrity because it is the star card okay that's not all impossible okay now or if this is a specific person that you're dealing with they could be we'll say maybe in the music industry they might sing they could dance maybe they're an actor maybe they have a band a local band you never know okay but the star card does um does bring in does bring in the energy of Aquarius okay so maybe you're straight up dealing with an Aquarius right now okay so hmm we're gonna have to clarify we gotta see I do feel that this star card is coming in as reconciliation or somebody wants to heal something with you maybe possibly heal something from the past Okay, trusted ancestor, show me the energy of this Knight of Swords, please. Also known as the Princess of Swords. What is this? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, listen, <laughs> somebody definitely has some guilt, remorse, regret going on. When I said about reconciliation, somebody feels that they have messed up with you, Scorpio. Somebody feels that they have messed up. And yeah, when we talk about... When we talk about reconciliation, there's the two of cups. They could be crying over spilled milk because maybe they know that they played you. Maybe they know that they ghosted you, all of this. Maybe they thought the grass was greener on the other side and they went to go entertain every Tom, Dick, and Harry, etc. Or Susie, Jane, and Mary. You never know. But here's the two of cups. Somebody wants to rush in and communicate reconciliation. And somebody wants to do this fast. And possibly, it could be that this person may be at a distance from you. Or if they're in the same local hub or vicinity, they could be eight minutes away from you. They could be eight miles away from you. You never know. Okay. Um, somebody has guilt. Now I'm almost questioning, why, did, why does this person have guilt? Well, I'm picking up that I think that they feel that they messed up. Okay. Message from the Eight of Wands. <laughs> Look it. Yeah. Three of Swords. Somebody wants to reconnect with you, Scorpio, because if, for whatever reason, somebody could be spying in on you or trying to seek out information through other people what you're up to, 
somebody knows that they broke your heart. And or Scorpio, if this is somebody that, you know, maybe you've been involved with and you've just had enough, maybe you're the one that's gearing up to break somebody's heart because you feel like you have no choice. You may feel that you have no choice and maybe you're just fed up. You're fed up with this person's actions and they're not, um, you could feel like you're played. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so again, we got sword activity here. Wow, 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 wow. Somebody here definitely, they, there's major regret. Major regret over a relationship that could currently be in the moment, right now, or from the past. And man, oh man, I can feel the energy and the heaviness of this person's actions. Maybe they told you they didn't want to get married or they never saw themselves getting married again. And yet they might have felt, Scorpio, that, you know, you were the technically the right one for them. But it's like they almost, in some regard, it almost feels like they couldn't accept it. They couldn't accept the fact that you were the right one for them. And now there's like all this, there's pain, there's pain, there's sorrowing, there's heartbreak. Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. So somebody here, I also feel too, if this is you, Scorpio, in the Princess of Swords mode, some of you guys are really trying to protect your heart and or protect your energy because maybe you're just exhausted. You know, you could be just exhausted from this person's energy because they're not doing shit for some of them. You know what I mean? Some of them are just not stepping up, stepping up to the plate. And, you know, they, <clears throat> this person, Scorpio, could have, you know, really let you down, you know. And maybe maybe you were excited about this person. Maybe you saw the vision or the possibility of the future with them. And they just, they fell short. That's what I'm picking up. But see, the, <laughs> this person is going to come in, I feel, like a bolt of lightning. This is what I'm feeling. They want to come in like a bolt of lightning because that star card, every time the star card kicks in, healing, healing and reconciliation wants to happen. Some of you guys want to reconcile with somebody from the past and others of you, you don't. That's a choice. Message from the star card, trust in the ancestors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 17. What is going on? Yeah, see, they want to energetically reach out and communicate, but they're coming in as a page. Some of you guys could be dealing with another, like I said, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I've got um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, uh, Gemini, and straight up Aquarius energy. That's not to say that you're not dealing with an earth sign, okay? Uh, earth energy is there. Um... Man, oh man, this person, you know, if they really, <laughs> man, if this person really wants to make an impression on you, Scorpio, they're going to have to come in better. I have to agree. They're going to have to come in better than a page. They need to come in like a freaking king or a queen or an empress or an emperor and make you an offer that you cannot refuse. I mean, seriously, right? They need to come in and make an offer that you just cannot refuse. Especially after whatever it is that you feel that they did to you, Scorpio. Holy cow. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. Hmm. I was picking up some. There's like a meddling energy. Every time my counting goes off, I'm going to go here directly to the Three of Swords. One, two, three. Show me the heartbreak. Yeah, see, it was about emotional investment. Maybe you felt like somebody was not emotionally, they might have been physically present, maybe in the relationship, Scorpio, or maybe they were very robotic and just going through the motion. And, you know, maybe they were telling you that they loved you, but there wasn't a whole lot of backup support, maybe of those three little words, you know, and maybe you guys just felt like, you know, you wanted to invest more into the connection or into the relationship. And I'm not saying that you don't care about this person 
or that you know you don't want them to be happy but remember your happiness is just as important as theirs but this was about time energy and dedication and devotion that you had put into it okay and a lot of you they know too the, this person whoever you're dealing with Scorpio they know that they're breaking your heart they know that they're doing this they're doing this out of stupidity that's what they're doing because they're afraid and see if they're afraid if your person's afraid to commit if they're afraid to get married and they say that it's like a defense mechanism okay that's that is something that is going on in their brains in their subconscious mind because you know that's the reason why it takes time to heal from relationships see some people cannot be alone for a certain period of time they have to jump into the next relationship to the next relationship to the next relationship because it's like dopamine it's like an adrenaline rush it's like an addiction you know some people just they don't know how to give themselves self-love and you wanted to give this person love you probably did show this person love but they in the end i feel like this person did break your heart and the investment just wasn't up to par and it was a slow moving process that maybe for some of you it led to a lot of major heartbreak but this person because the main focal point of this reading is about the eight of wands rapid fire communication and there's two communicate actually three communicators here two princes and a prince um two princes and a princess so pages and a knight okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven wow yeah they want a second chance with you scorpio judgment call they want to resurrect this relationship whether you want to see it happen or not, they're, they're going to come forward. They will come forward. Judgment card. This sign of Scorpio energy coming in with the judgment card. And not only that, your trusted ancestors energy can come through judgment because it's about the dead. Okay? It's about the dead and the spirits on the other side. And bottom of the deck, before I shuffle again, Ace of Cups. Yeah, they're going to be coming in with a major offer. It could be one day, one uh, hour. It could be one month. Something could significantly happen on May 20th. It could be June 20th. I'm not seeing the energy farther beyond that just yet. Okay. Eight weeks. So eight of wands would be eight weeks. That's about a two-month two time frame. Okay. Let's see here. Judgment. Wow. Yeah. It's because this person, this person has so much guilt. And I feel like they entirely know that they disappointed you <laughs> wow 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 it's like the tables are getting ready to turn here and then i feel like scorpio you're going to be faced with the judgment call whether or not you want this person back in your life one two three four five what is the guilt remorse regret yeah they want to come in with an apology prince look at it's another prince yes toto be quiet here come here um prince of cups that is about a rightfully owed apology they want to come in with some kind of like a a love offer or try to find a way to be romantic because they know that they didn't put the time energy and in investment the way you wanted to see it this is what i am strongly at most picking up here wow one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty okay that's for judgment I'm trying to give my dog some treats here to keep her calm so man oh man judgment yeah look at you guys come on now they want to have a new beginning here. Sign of Gemini or Cancerian energy kicking in through the lover's card doesn't mean that you have to be dealing with those signs. They're, they're in love with you. They know they effed up. They know they, <laughs> they, they know they messed up indefinitely. They, they know it. Message from the Prince of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, they want to bring it, uh, make you an offer that you cannot refuse. Ace of 
pentacles. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Yeah, they're returning. They want to take this connection to the next level, whether you want to hear that or not, Scorpio. Could be an, six to eight weeks from this time frame, from maybe whenever you hear this reading. Could happen in the month of June. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is going on? Yeah, you are their wish fulfillment, Scorpio. You are their wish fulfillment. It's right there. Listen, I got to go take care of Toto. Um, This person has a lot of guilt. And do not force this energy to come forward. This person will come forward when they are ready. Okay. The guilt will start to pile up on them. Just don't push them. Don't try text messaging them, phone calling them, DMing them, nothing. Let them come to you because there's a major offer here that is coming in your direction. Scorpio, I will be back before you know it and take care.